we are ready to start painting the color wheel. So at this point, you have your design, you have it transferred onto your canvas. The other thing that you guys probably wanna do is label the canvas around each segment. Okay, so you can see how I've labeled the order of my colors. Use your color wheel um, notes to, to get this order correct, because it's important to keep the order of the colors consistent. Now with my primary colors, so here's my blue, here's my yellow, and then here is my red. I've labeled the numbers that correspond to my design color code. So number one is gonna be red, just the color on its own. Number two is red plus its complement, which it's its opposite, which is green. Number three is red plus the shade, which is black and then the tint. So white, a little more white, and then the most white. I wanna keep this pattern consistent and I wanna just start with my primary colors. So I'm gonna start with red, blue, and yellow. I've put in the numbers in my canvas. I've also just um, erased them a little bit to keep them on the lighter side. That's important because if your color, or if your pencil is too dark, your color paint might not cover it completely. Okay, so make sure that you lighten up some of your pencil lines. Okay, I'm ready to start painting. I have my colors on my wax paper. I have my red, I have my white, I have my black. And I also have a little bit of my green, which is that opposite color. I'm using kind of my medium sized brush here. If you had a larger space or a smaller space, you could switch to your bigger brush or your smaller brush, totally up to you. So I'm gonna start with the hue, which is the color on its own. So I got my red. I got my um, red segment. Now I'm gonna to start to paint where my number one is. I'm being sure to be careful of lines and edges. And I'm pulling the paint. Think like how we did the apple. Notice how I'm holding my brush like a pencil. I'm trying to use the tip of it to get any detailed spots or any edges. If I make a mistake and I get a color in a spot I don't want it, that's totally okay. I can paint over it. Now I'm gonna start with my darker colors, number two and number three. Number two is the color with the complement, which is its opposite. So I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of green and you're gonna notice as you mix this, that color is gonna change. Now I don't want a green color, I want it to be more red. So you notice if you mix it with more red versus more green, you're gonna get a variation in that color. Now I'm looking for a brownish color and I want it to be on the red side because this is the red segment. So I'm gonna make sure I mix it with enough red that it looks red-ish and it kind of becomes this brownish color. Okay, now I'm gonna paint it in. Be careful with edges, especially with paint that's wet. You wanna make sure you're carefully moving your brush against that other color. They can mix together, so be careful. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush off. I'm gonna to start to work on my color plus my shade. So now I'm gonna take my red and on my wax paper, grab a little bit of my black. You only need a tiny bit and I'm gonna mix that in. Now you're gonna notice these two colors are gonna to start to look similar. The color plus the complement, but the color plus the black. Now you wanna mix them so you're seeing a difference. So that means that this one, number three, should be more black than number two. Okay, so again, correspond to how you're mixing. Maybe a little bit more red, maybe a little bit more black, vice versa. Make sure that they stand out, make sure that they look different. Okay, when I have that color mixed, I'm gonna paint.
you might notice that your colors are looking a little thin. Maybe there's some spots that don't cover. You can always wait till it dries and paint a second coat. Next, I'm gonna start working on my tints. So that's my red plus my white. Same process, I'm gonna take some of my red and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of white. Again, I'm looking for a visible change here. So I wanna get that lighter pink color. Okay, now this is gonna be my number four because this is my red with a little bit of white. To lighten this color. So I can take my brush and add now just more white to that color to lighten it up. Now I wanna be sure I'm not using too much paint, right? This paint can dry if I'm not gonna use it. So I have to make sure I'm being careful. I'm only using the paint that I need. Now I can see that this color is visibly lighter than my original one. So now I'm gonna paint that in. Okay, last I'm gonna work on that lightest version. Again, taking more white, mixing on my wax paper. And again, I want that visible change. I wanna see that color be the lightest it can be. Okay, I can see that that color is different. Get it really nice and mixed in. You might even need to clean your brush off, right? If there's too much paint in your brush. Okay, and now I'm ready to paint. Okay, now there's my segment. Now again, if I need to paint a second coat, I absolutely can do that. Especially since this paint is wet, it's not a bad idea to go back. I could start my number one again and get a second coat in there so it's really nice and solid. Next, I'm gonna start working on my other primary colors. So my yellow and then my blue. I'm ready to start my blue. So same setup, I have my blue, I have my white, I have my black. And then notice how I took a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow to make my orange for the complement. We don't have orange in a tube, so we have to mix it. So take a little bit of each, mix it on your wax paper so you have the color that you need for your complement. All right, I'm gonna start painting. Continually assess how your painting is going. Do you need to add another layer? Do you need to add a more white or more black to a color? Maybe you need a second coat just so it's more visible. Constantly reassess how you're painting and make those adjustments. Okay, I'm gonna start my yellow. Notice how I lightened a lot of my pencil lines. It's hard to see on my camera, but I can still see where I'm gonna paint. Okay, I'm gonna use the same method. I'm gonna keep going. Again, constantly reassess. Majority of your painting is gonna need a second coat, right? If it looks too thin. Or if you need to readjust your colors, readjust your colors.